The shard that Arlen carries must not be sufficiently attuned, else she would have found Victor. My theory is that the shards require an infusion of blighted life force to empower them. The greater these infusions, the more sensitive the shard grows to incarnations of corruption. And what's the meaning in plain speak? Though I am saddened to admit it, the meaning is clear. Arlen's own life must feed that shard. Violetta's lapdogs, come to seize my power for your grasping mistress. Nope. Come to put down Holdfast's worst traitor. Holdfast is a lie. The only truth is what I hold here in my own two hands. Thank <laughs> you. 
do this alone. I was so very wrong. There's only one place you should be alone in this world, Arlen. A grave. I was right. Arlen's life force has invigorated the Shard. Yet it needs more. I can feel its eldritch allure to betray flesh and fresh corruption. That must be nice for you. Hold your nerve, Wanderer. Find out where our heroes should hunt next. Such a grand feat should be rewarded accordingly. Tap on the chest and claim your well-earned rewards. We received a gaunt emissary from Saborni, sent by none other than Captain Vermeer. That man's a legend for all the wrong reasons. His messenger claims that we will be shown mercy if we surrender to Rainier's liege lord, Victor. Victor couldn't infiltrate Saborni in life, but in death. It is uh, curious. The Shard rather warmed to that worm tongue fabulist's presence. Then we should track that dirge back to its master. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is your reply to my magnanimous offer? 
You slay my men and besiege my stronghold? You offer us a lousy price. We make a lousy counteroffer. Fine. Then let's sign this deal in your fresh spilled blood. should have trusted. <sighs> and that's for Gracia, the loveliest lady I ever did business with. Vitality surges within this shard. Behold its lugubrious luster! Huh. Ramir is finally doing something good with his life. What does the shard divine? Where to next? Cryptic sensations. Never fear. I shall decipher them in time. the Golden Age, Vordland's practitioners of magic surveyed the ancient dungeons of the Undercity, shedding light on its esoteric history. Left untended, these labyrinthine vaults have become infested with blighted abominations. You and your ilk must bathe the Undercity clean in defiled blood. Only then can its sanctity be restored, its treasures recovered.
The shard shivers with sacrilegious fervor. Your scouts, they have found something? Strangely enough, yes. A Slovatsian cathedral has been gutted by some sinister excavations. And a corrupted arbiter has been sighted nearby, on the Ligurian coast. Best we go take a look then. Yeah. <laughs> 
No monologue. Must be my lucky day. This is why I don't go to church. is thickened with foul energy and seems ineluctably drawn to the south west. My scouts report Erkland undead in the Solvatio forests. Could it be Victor? Yeah, with Ramir gone, 
The king has come to do his own dirty work. Do you feel like cleaning up his act? Yeah. I'll go sharpen my mop. With Victor away, my scouts were able to steal into Erkland and source the equipment for our forge rebuild. You can now commission Magnus, our resident blacksmith, to rent new weapons from iron and flame. Feels mighty fine to be back at the anvil. Upgrading a hero's weapon will cost gold, and the essence type that matches the hero. Go ahead and upgrade this hero's weapon. Don't worry, I'll give you some gold and essence on the house. Excellent! Each time you upgrade a hero's weapon, it will improve that hero's strength. Don't forget to upgrade a hero's weapon and armor whenever you get the chance. Conspiring to murder Queen Gracia, I sentence you to execution. <sighs> I've been condemned for far worse by those more powerful than you.
Never my king, Victor. Putrid screams echoed throughout the hollow chamber as a great bell chimed somewhere far off. The once mighty lord of Umba had met his demise. And as his corpse slowly moulded in a sodden soil, the people of Holdfast built towards a brighter future.